Hey everyone, I'm Sky Freak, and welcome to my fifth vlog. Uh, I know I've been keeping up with this, this very well. I'm sorry about that. Uh, hopefully, this can start to change now because it's Monday. It's actually like five in the morning, so I should probably should be speaking a little bit quieter because I'm the only one awake right now. Um, so I had a whole bunch of plans this summer that did not turn out so well. I'm gonna be going back to college in like a week. Like I had plans to you know get a job, start doing a whole bunch of let's play videos, do all this crap, and none of them panned out. But I have a BS working now. I tried to work with my game capture a bit. There's a huge audio lag on that, uh, on the game capture. For some reason, like the game audio and video audio and video, the game audio and game video are out of sync. So I need to figure out how to resync those, which is going to be a bit of a pain to do. But uh, I should be able to get it done. Those take some tinkering around with. I'm not sure if I'm going to do it while I'm here while I'm at college. One of the two, though. Uh, however, I do have it for my PC on my so I can get screen capture going, so I can actually record things that are on my PC. So for a while you're going to be seeing me do some PC gaming, which you should have already heard from about in my um, update video. So, uh, I tried recording Disciples 2. I was ranting and raving to everyone that Disciples 2 was going to be the first video that came out. And I'm going to say this both here and on my actual gaming video, that Disciples 2 does not work. The game itself works perfectly. I can play the game flawlessly, I can play it anywhere, and it has no problems whatsoever. But for some reason, whenever I'm recording it, it has a whole bunch of glitches. And me and my dad were, watch were tr trying to figure out what was going on. We started messing with some of the settings. We messed with the frame rate. We messed with how it saved the files. We messed with uh, all sorts of things. And we got it to work a bit better, but not anything that could be uploaded. It it's horrible, the way it looks. So I'm just not going to be doing Disciples 2. He says the best way I could probably get Disciples would be if, A, I had a screen capture, or not a screen capture, A, I'm like a game capture device or a separate computer or something, for my laptop, which I don't, I'm not going to get anytime soon, or I had a much stronger CPU that I could play Disciples on, which that seems a bit more, um, you know, applicable, but I won't be able to get that for quite a while, so Disciples is being put on hold. I might not ever be able to play it again, which sucks. I'd really want to be able to play it. I would love to be able to play the game. I'd love to be able to upload videos on YouTube. I'd love to be able to do all this stuff, but unfortunately I just can't record it. I can only play it, and I just, it, it sucks. Um, but... There are a couple other games I have on my PC that I can play. Um, one of them is called Majesty. It actually looks sort of similar to Disciples in certain aspects, but it's completely different and has no problems recording. Uh, I was t I did a couple of tests with it and not a single problem. The only thing I had was my audio, but my I messed some audio settings before, so I think I need to have headphones in order to have that work now. It shouldn't be a problem. The audio was not usually a huge issue for me. I can usually get that to start working pretty easily. Um, it's just the video that is the issue. Um, well, on on the computer, on the game capture, it's all the it's always the audio. <laughs> uh, um, but yes, there's Majesty. There's also a game called Vampire Story, which is sort of like a uh, role playing game. It's not like a role playing game like uh, Dragon Age, where you know you know you have a sword and you go fight enemies and you level up and stuff. It's more like a puzzle type game. If you've seen Telltale series like The Walking Dead or uh, Tales of the Borderlands, it's sort of like those, but it's different because it's not. It's not a Telltale game. It's uh, you no, know, you click, you, like, you point and click, you know where you want to walk around and stuff. You can talk to people, you can interact with them, you, and different creatures. You can pick up items, you can combine items, you can solve puzzles to progress. And it's a really cool story, actually. I really enjoy it. Um, I just there is supposed to be a sequel to the story, and I don't think they ever made it. I'll have to look into it a bit more. But there was supposed to be like two or three games for it, and they never made it anymore, which sucks. I like the game. I would love to see um more of it because I've only beaten the, I've only beaten the game once, but I would like to see. Um, a second game to follow it. Um, and then the other game is actually a spin-off game of Pokemon. It's called Pokemon Uranium. It is a very interesting game that I actually recommend for anybody who likes Pokemon. For one thing, it doesn't have any of the original Pokemon. All the original Pokemon are not there. It has all new Pokemon with brand new names and all this other stuff. You have no idea what you're going to be up against, so it's completely fresh. You have no idea where you're going into. It has a very... Um, it's a much darker, more mature story, like your mother was like killed in this nuclear power plant and stuff, and that's why it's called Pokemon Uranium. There are these new types of Pokemon that are called Radiation Pokemon, and they are they have some interesting things. Essentially, some Pokemon got exposed to radiation, and they start to evolve with radiation, and they became a Uranium type. Um, and it's very interesting. There's uh, a particular mode you can play where uh, it's essentially a forced Nuzlocke, you know, any Pokemon you get will die whenever you... Uh, if it gets knocked out, so you don't want them to, so you don't want them to be knocked out and everything, um, but the, it's not in the regular version though. And the really cool thing is like the gym leaders. You don't have like fire type gym leaders and water type gym leaders 
you have like a cave type gym leader. Any Pokemon that you can find in a cave, this gym leader will have Pokemon from caves. Like, uh, if that was in the original Pokemon, you'd see like um, a trainer with like a Zubat and a Geodude and an Onix and a Paris. I mean, granted, in this case it's a bit different, but you see my point. They're all different types. You have to prepare for ga- for cave type Pokemon. So you have to learn what to get types of Pokemon in the caves and build your team accordingly and then be able to go fight them, or just do what I do and have one team and just overpower them and then go take them down with whatever you got. <laughs> um, so yeah, I might do that. The only problem with that one is that it tends to the game itself tends to run slowly, so it'll look kind of weird on the game capture, but. I have not used, I've not played it in quite a long time, and they're rec- they're constantly updating it, so it might be a whole lot better than it used to be. I just need to go and check it out and see if anything is better. I need to download all the new updates on it. I need to go look into all the new stuff for it, and then see if I think I can record it, and then run a couple tests if I can, then play it. Um, I'm not sure which of those two I'm gonna do. If it's gonna be Vampire Story or Pokemon Uranium, I might do both of them, but I'm gonna definitely start with Majesty. Majesty is a really cool game. Um, you guys are gonna see it very soon. I'm actually probably gonna record. Uh, here in a little bit, probably today. <sighs> um, and I do want to upload this vlog this weekend, as my plan. And I will, you know, be doing the whole you know, weekly question and answering the last question and stuff. But I'm also going back to college very soon. Classes start on the 29th. It is currently the something. I don't know. <laughs> um, I don't have a calendar in here. Uh, but. Yeah, I I'm gonna be going there early though because I'm starting to, to I'm gonna be starting to live in an apartment with my friend Robbie. I'm probably, probably actually gonna see him in a couple of my videos, uh, but it's because I want to start start you know build together early, set everything up, you know, do all this work and stuff, and that'll take some time. So I'm gonna hang up there a few days early. So I'm probably honestly gonna not be able to record a vlog next week. Or at least if I do, won't be, you know, a whole lot of one because I'm going to be messing with, you know, moving in and everything. And then this week is essentially going to be the starting point to actually leaving. I'm going to start preparing stuff. Like, I'm going to go through all my clothes so I want to keep what I want to throw away. Um, you know, start packing everything in my, for my room. <sighs> it's going to be interesting. i going to take two or three cars to get there because of all the crap because I'm going to take my bed. But I'm not sure exactly what the plan is right now. Um, but yeah. So, I think that's it for today. Oh, there is actually something um, that I forgot to mention. Something that happened last night that I was really, really sad to hear about. I was asleep when this happened, though. Um, as you guys know, we have six kittens. Lacey, uh, she had her litter, and we moved her from my room into the office, and she's fine with them and everything. But last night, one of the kittens seemed to have a lot of trouble breathing. So, my parents took them to the emergency vet and discovered that one of them had a birth defect. They went through all the, all the fear that it was only the one that had it, but essentially their heart was four times the size it was supposed, it was supposed to be. It was putting pressure on their lungs and on their esophagus so they couldn't breathe properly. And as they grew older, it would have just slowly and very painfully killed them. So they decided to euthanize her instead. Because they weren't, they weren't sure they even could do anything. If they could do anything, it would have only, it would have been a lot of surgery and other things that would have only slowed it down. It would not have saved her. It would have made her a very slow, very unhappy life. So they decided to euthanize her to put her out of her misery and we're going to bury her today and yeah. But the other kittens are all doing perfectly fine. Lacey seems uh, happy. So everything like that is going great. So there's still five kittens we still want to get adopted out. Um, but yeah, it was just a really sad thing to hear about last night. Um, so yeah, I think that's it for today. I still don't know how to freaking end videos between days, though. So you guys, you guys still need to help me out with that. I've not gotten any comments suggesting how I do that. I should just end or if I should have, like, a uh, day one out or something. I don't know. Anyway, bye. Hey, guys. It is currently, um, Saturday night. Very late, actually. I don't know why I waited this long to record a vlog. I kept meaning to and I kept on forgetting. I don't know why. Um, but I spent the last couple of days hanging out with my friends again, and, uh, I'm gonna be going back to college either tomorrow or the day after, probably the day after, just because of things. I'm not sure exactly when I'm gonna upload this vlog. Uh, if I, go, if I leave tomorrow for college, I'm probably gonna upload it until Monday or Tuesday. Um, if it's, if you guys see this being uploaded tomorrow, that probably means I have not left for college yet. So there's that. Um. 
Oh, and something I'm very excited for. My friend, uh, he he wants me to play more uh, PC games. He wants to play them blind and everything. So he decided he's going to start gift gifting me games. We went through a couple of games that he has. Um, one was... Uh, What's it called? Uh, I am blanking on the name. I'm very tired right now. I'm taking two Benadryl and a melatonin, which melatonin is essentially it's the chemical in your body that makes you sleep. So it makes your body f feel like it's ready, like it's able to sleep. It helps your body realize, okay, it's time to go to bed now. Um, so just making you sleepy. <clears throat> um, so the game is a. Uh, I don't know why I can't remember the name of it. It was, it was a game. <laughs> But anyway, um, the game that we want that he wanted getting me right now is a game that I've that I've never actually seen a full let's play of. I've only ever seen the beginning of it, and I've never played, never had to play it myself. It's a game called Undertale, which I would love to play that game. It would be so amazing to be able to do. Um, I also want to be able to play the um, FNAF Sicilian location whenever it comes out, which would be awesome. I'd be able to play both, both those games. I also want to do Vampire Story, and so I'm probably going to be doing Majesty Undertale, and if I had the time. Uh, within all that vampire story. So there were probably three Let's Plays going. I um, also have a couple of ideas to try and um, promote my channel a bit. There's, I have a couple of ideas so that I can, at the very least, you know, get a few more subscribers, which would be very nice. I would love to have more subscribers. It would just be awesome to be able to, you know, get more people to wa watch my videos, be entertaining more people, because that's what I want to do. I want to be able to entertain lots of people. That is my goal in life. So that's what I want to do. Um, I think it's really it for tonight. Um, and yeah, um, I hope you guys enjoyed my, uh, Majesty game. I, uh, <clears throat> my friend gave me a couple recommendations on what I can do with it. Which, but I actually want to give a shout out to him since he, uh, helped me with my, um, with getting Undertale and stuff. So this is, um, not Kyle, this is actually Colt. Um, on Twitter he is Fate Hunter. Something. So I'll leave a link to his story down in the description box below because he is an awesome guy. Great friend of mine. He's writing books. I'm also, just, I'm also writing a book. Um, so there's that. And uh, I think that is it for tonight. I guess I will talk to you guys tomorrow once I've shaved this off and am getting ready to leave. Maybe I will actually leave. Who knows? It all depends. So yeah. Talk to you guys tomorrow. Hey everyone. So Today, apparently, we're actually not leaving for college because of, um, well, reasons. Uh, yeah, we're probably gonna be leaving tomorrow. I was willing to pack things up and, you know, move things around, uh, go through some things that I'm going to be taking with me. Um, got some stuff that we need to transport everything, like a tarp for furniture, like, because we're gonna be moving furniture and stuff on the trucks. We got a tarp to help keep rain off of it. We also got things to help hold them all down, which already had some things, but those didn't really. We had two of them, one of them is broken, and just one of them probably won't be enough, so we went ahead, we would need, need to get more anyway, so we went ahead and got a pack of four, so it's like those um, bungee cords, or, I think they're bungee cords, they're these like tie down cords, you like, you have, they have like two hooks, and you like, you can like adjust the length of them, and you put them on a truck, and then hold stuff down, so yeah, anyway, um, also, uh, my last, well, last week I asked, uh, what are you most excited for, for Pokemon Go and why? Which, of course, Pokemon Go now is starting to start, seems to be starting to fail because of different choices that have been made. Um, but I got only two answers. One of them wasn't really an answer. I don't know exactly what it was. It, it was a friend of mine called Chargepoint. He said, uh, Pokemon's Obama gonna catch them all? I have no idea what that means. Uh, but my the second comment on there, uh, she said was, she said it was, uh, I'm sorry. I'm not. I'm very tired. I'm not thinking very straight. Um, my friend, Limit Music, she said uh, that she's really excited to get it because she doesn't have it yet. Uh, I guess it's not available in her country. I don't know exactly where she is. So, actually, no. I thought she was in New York. So she technically should be able to have it. I don't know why she doesn't have it, but um, maybe it's like on advice she has or something. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, I would like to know why she doesn't have it though. Um, I'll probably ask her about that. And uh, <clears throat> um, what was I about to say? Right. So, the next thing is, uh, she gave a second answer, because apparently my ca my captions of my video were off for some reason, so I'm gonna go, go ahead and read you guys what that said, and what her answer to what I said was. So apparently what it said was, um, what is your favorite was one thing before I go and why? 
I don't know why I thought I said that. I don't know where I got that from. I don't know where the grammar came from. But uh, her answer to that was babies covered in cheese can only it can fly only if they believe it. Uh, believe if they believe they can, but they can't if you drop them out windows. That's by far the most unique answer I've ever heard from a question. So uh, yeah, <laughs> she, uh, so yeah, she's that was definitely my favorite answer that I've received in any of my questions yet. So um, giving a shout out to her then, Alumni Music. Um, she has a YouTube channel, but she has not posted anything, so I can't actually link her ch her channel in the description box. But I can link her Twitter, which I will as well as my Twitter, of course, as usual. Um, so yeah. And I, of course, you guys will be receiving a new question this week for the <clears throat> for the um, new, yeah, question of the week or vlog because it's been like two or three weeks since I since I last uploaded a vlog. Sorry about that, by the way. There's been a lot of things going on that I've been dealing with. So yeah. Um. <clears throat> so the new question, the new question will be um, if you could time travel anywhere in the last two hundred years, when would you go? Where would it be? Like what, what location? What time? And what would you do that would inevitably cause the destruction of the Earth? Because let's face it, if you time travel, you're going to destroy the world. There's just no way around that. So, where would you go? What would you do? What actions would you, would you take? Uh, yeah, what, where, where and when would you go? And what actions would you take that would inevitably, inevitably cause the destruction of the Earth? Because that's what happens when you time travel. <laughs> it's just going to happen. I mean, not the destruction of the Earth, but destruction of something. I mean, let's be honest, guys. You step on a butterfly and uh, half the human race goes away. We all know this. So, yeah. Um, that will be the new weekly question, and I think that is all that I actually have to say. Um, I will be going back to college soon. Uh, whenever I go there, I'll probably record my next vlog video, and you put guys about to be my roommate, uh, Robbie, and I'm leaving tomorrow. <sighs> I do not want to go back. I don't really want to go back because well, let's face it, it's college. But also, I I like being home. It's it's more comfortable here. Um, yeah, but, you know, gotta go, gotta get an education so I can get a better job and things like that. Um, yeah, I think that's all I have to say. So, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, this has been my fifth vlog now. Um, <clears throat> if you guys, if you guys like this video, be sure to drop a comment, leave a like, and subscribe to the channel for more videos. Also, be sure to follow me on Twitter, where I'll be making minor updates to the channel. Um, oh, oh, forgot one, forgot one little thing that I wanted to throw in right here. Uh, I am going to be working on a second video once I get back to college. I might do it here today if I have time, but I have to be packing stuff, which I'm not even started on. So I'm going to be doing that. Um, and I also have a new game that on my computer that I'm going to be doing, which I will introduce on my gaming side of the YouTubes. So if you guys want to see that, be sure you check out my next, be sure you check out my next video. Um, it might not be my next video, it might be the video after that I actually introduce it. Uh, be sure you keep an eye on my channel, because there's a really cool game coming up my friend gave me, that, and I'll be giving a shout out to him for that also. Uh, so yeah. Um, with that being said, you're all on Crutter has- You're- you're- uh, blah, 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 blah. With that being said, you're all on Crutter has- You're all- Words. English. I can do it. With that being said, you are now required to have an, an absolutely fantastic day. You have no choice, and I'll see you in the next video. Ciao.